even just mentioning that footage that is painful, like charging and flash, comparing video game teabagging to sexual assault just reflexively makes the human body want Hello guys. Welcome to us uh another one of my let's check out videos. Now um we're doing a one off of Super Monkey Ball Jr. now. Let's start the game. Hold on. I heard something cool happens when you do the Konami code. So it's like up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, E A. Oh <laughs> funny. Anyways, let's go to main game, let's go to normal mode, and let's select, select the difficulty. So I had a history with the Super Monkey Ball. Let's choose I.I. I. I have a history of uh, Super Monkey Ball. Um, uh, I think the first Monkey Ball game I played was... Uh, Super Monkey Ball 3D on the 3DS. I heard it's not really that much of a great game. I played it back in the day and I liked it. Um, I actually have a lot of nostalgia of playing the Super Monkey Ball game at the uh, Chuck E. Cheese. It's like an arcade game. Uh, can I get down there? Yeah, let's not waste any lives trying to do that, I guess. But... This is like a 3D Game Boy Advance game, and um, basically you can roll I.I. I. You're basically playing as this monkey named I.I. I. And these levels are based off of the stuff you'd see in the, uh, uh, the GameCube games. And uh, it's like a 3D Game Boy game. That's floor. Ready? It seems like floor. So, yeah, Monkey Ball is like a pretty cool game. I like it. Damn it. Fallout. Almost one more life and we'll die, but, um. I think the Monkey Ball games are pretty good. I played Banana Blitz HD. I didn't get far because. It wasn't really all that interesting. If I'm gonna be real. The level design wasn't really all that interesting to me if I was gonna be real. I also played like uh, Pack and Roll on the Nintendo DS. Does anybody remember that game? Pack and Roll on Nintendo DS. Does anybody remember that? I do. Get all these bananas. Don't want to fall off. There's only 10 banana left. Yep, we died. It's fine. It was only a bonus level, so that's that's all right. Seems like so. Like this, this actually seems pretty faithful to the GameCube Monkey Ball games. Obviously, it's you know not as good because it's on the Game Boy Advance, but. This is pretty impressive. Uh oh. We died. Uh, I think we got a game over. Game over. Oh, we have continues. Oh, we can continue. Cool. Go. Go. I, always, I love that announcer guy. I love the monkey ball announcer guy. Cool. Cool. 
A Golio. Alright, cool. So it's like a, this is like a physics-based marble, marble platformer. I don't know. Well, I don't know what, but it's like a marble. I get. I guess it's like a marble genre. It's like a game in like the marble genre. It's kind of difficult, and it's definitely difficult with the Game Boy Advance controls. And it definitely doesn't have the highest frame rate because you know. It's not exact. It kind of looks like a Sega Saturn game. Damn it. Damn it. Well, we, we literally drained all of our lives on that one stage. Monkey! But, like, um... Ready? Go! I know, I know my friend, I know my friend is, uh... Ah, uh, damn it. I know my friend is doing, like, a let's play of, uh, Adventure Forward 2. So my cat wants in. Alright, sorry, my cat wanted in, but, um, uh, I know Adventure Forward has, like, these marble rolling sections that kind of remind me of Monkey Ball. I feel like this one's, like, the steepest one. It's the one I had the most trouble getting up, and it keeps on, like, steering me on... Oh shit. Damn it. Ah. This takes too long. I'm take it's like taking me like a minute. To even like ugh. So, um, that will be our first game for today. The next game will be... Guess what game it is. Ah, oh, hell yeah! Fucking Doom! <coughs> <coughs> I fucking love Doom. I play this game on the Xbox. And, uh... So I played this game on the Xbox. And it's a pretty damn good, uh, first-person shooter. I'm not the biggest fan of first-person shooters, but I can tell you, Doom is fucking awesome. I love this classic game. Now, I'm playing the Super Nintendo version because I heard it's, like, the worst version of this game. I press Y to shoot, and hold on, damn it, my cat wants to come out. Go get out. Get out, buddy. Alright. Okay, but I heard this is like the worst version of Doom, and uh, so like I'm, I want to see, I want to see how bad is this version of Doom? It can't be that bad. I mean, I can shoot the enemies even if they look like a bunch of pixels. It seems like a pretty faithful recreation. It has tank controls. But that's probably because this is a Super Nintendo and has a D-pad. I play this on the Xbox One, and uh, I, I can tell you this is just a super fast-paced, super action-packed first-person shooter that never once gets boring. I fucking love Doom, man. It's popular for a reason. And I see they don't have the secret here. Oh no, I have to press A. They do have the secret here. They do have the secret here. Okay, the game may be good. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah, I got stuck. 
Ah, uh, it's, it's a freaking imp. It's a freaking imp. Okay. Yeah, I'm on phone control, so be nice to me, guys. I mean, draw distance. The game's kind of slow, and draw distance is kind of sucky. But, like, overall, I mean, it's not that bad. But I'm only on the first level, so, yeah. I fucking love this game, though. It's also not full screen, which... Hold on. Yeah. The music restarts when you unpause the game. Okay. Alright, well... Well... Hmm... Finished. 100% kills. Okay, cool. Now. Uh oh. I wonder, is there anybody who speedrun this? Who's who's like speedrunning this version of Doom? But I, I just gotta tell you guys, Doom is damn awesome it's a damn awesome game i i really like it and uh, uh doom 2 is also pretty good i wouldn't say it's as good as doom 1 that's the selected like the map thing start is the pause button of course and x is to shoot oh the l and r buttons are to strafe okay i get it I probably won't be strafing much, cause well, I'm on a well, I'm on phone. You know, playing this on phone isn't the best, but I think if I was like playing on a controller, this wouldn't be half bad. I mean, it would probably be much better on like a on like an Xbox controller, or on like the Xbox version, which is like widescreen, much clearer, much faster. But hey. I, I, it's not bad. I wouldn't really like want to play this all over like like the regular version of Doom. Oh damn it! I get st I'm getting stuck. Alright, we got a red key. So a red key card will open, like... The red key card will open, like... It will open, like, red doors. There's also a yellow key card, which will do the same for yellow doors. And a blue key card will open blue doors. So, yeah, you see that? Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome game. Not the best way to play this game, obviously. The frame rate and the compression are kind of rough. But it's it's sick. It's it's reasonable. It's pretty it's pretty technically impressive for the Super Nintendo. I mean, Doom was, like, super revolutionary at its time, so having this game come out is, would also probably be pretty technically impressive for the Super Nintendo. Have any of you guys heard the music for the Super... Oh, I need to tell you about the music in Doom. The music in Doom? Absolutely awesome. Now, I just need to tell you, like, the music... Like, this shit is absolutely banging. Especially the original MIDI versions of this song. Music has some... Doom? Doom has some absolutely banging music. But, and, like, like one of my favorites are, like... I like E1M2's song. 
I really like uh, E1M9 song. E1M4 has a good song too. I really do like uh, E E3M3. I generally just like doom music. Ooh, I love E2M3. Um, am I gonna be down there? Okay, cool. But if you play the 32X version of this game, the Sega 32X version of this game, you would know that the Sega 32X would have an absolutely ter has absolutely terrible remixes of the songs in Doom, and I mean absolutely terrible, which honestly sucks because like the Sega 32X is like. Oh, damn it, I'm dying. I'm dying. Ah! Ah! I should have not went down here. Thank goodness I get to still keep my shotgun. Unfortunately, the screen doesn't, doesn't, like, like, start to melt like it does, like, in the actual Doom. And I don't care if there's a swap, there's an update software. Stop! I'm playing some fucking Doom on Super Nintendo. But, if you play this, uh, 32X version of Doom, if you play the 32X version of Doom, you would know that, uh, like, E1M1 sounds like a bunch of farts, E1M2 has all of its atmosphere removed, and, and it just sounds like a clown music, and, like, it's sad, because, like, the 32X is basically just an upgraded Sega Genesis, it's, it's literally an upgraded Sega Genesis. And the Sega Genesis has a very gritty, dark, harsh sound to it that fits perfectly for Doom. And, like, have you heard the soundtrack to Thunder Force 4 on Sega on Sega Genesis? That is such a kick-ass metal-esque metal soundtrack. And I honestly feel like, you know, Doom was capable of having like, a gritty metal sound on the Sega Genesis. They just kind of screwed it up with the actual 32X version. Probably because it was, like, a cheap thing made for, like, a quick buck. But still, like, respect the music of Doom. Like, I'll probably have to give a link to the songs in the description. And, like, like I'll have, like, the original songs. And then I'll have the 32X songs. And, like, as a comparison of how, like, the 32X basically fucked up the songs. So check the description if you want to see, like, the comparison. There's also, there will also be a link to the 32X final mix made by a fan who actually, who, the fan who actually fixed the uh, 32X, who actually fixed the 32X version's music. Which is honestly a godsend because now it actually sounds badass in metal. You know, like how Doom music should sound. But, yeah, this is a fucking classic game. It's definitely one of the... One of the... It's definitely a, such a fun first-person shooter. Just... It's not like... Like, it's, it's harder to control on, like, mobile phone with tank controls. But it's still pretty fun. Like, I'll still play this game, because it's just so dang fun. It may look like I'm sucking, but I, listen, I have to deal with mo- I'll ha I have to deal with mobile controls and tanking controls on top of that. Give me some slack. You're not the one in this situation, aren't you? Alright, this is the place we died. Oh, we're dying, we're dying, we're dying. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I would be much better in, if I just had like an actual controller with me. Like, I would actually be much better, but I'm not, I'm playing with mobile controls.
Did I kill them? I can't really tell. Yeah, I'm gonna admit, the draw distance in this game is not really good. Like, it's pretty faithful. It seems pretty faithful. But, like, you know, it's kind of laggy. It's definitely a technical marvel, though. So, like, like, I can definitely tell the people who made this version definitely did give a fuck. Like, they actually gave a shit about making it look, like, good. Man, I, I can't really, like, move out of the way because I don't really have, like, a good controller. I just have the mobile phone controls. Ugh. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Alright, I think I can now access, like, um... I think I can access, uh... Yeah, I think they shrink the screen, so, like, like, they're, because, like, if they, if they fully scaled up the screen, they would probably, like, I don't know what's killing me. Oh, someone's firing their shotgun at me. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage. <laughs> ah, I'm about to die, I'm about to die, I'm about to come. <laughs> How about, okay. Guys, look, hold on, hold on, I want to see something funny. I can hump the wall. Oh. Hey, hey, stop that. I think that's going to be it, guys. Um, on to the next game. Since, since the theme of this episode seems to be, like, worse versions of already pre-existing games, like Super Monkey Ball Jr. being a worse version of the Super Monkey Ball games of, uh, Super Monkey Ball, Doom, B Doom on Super Nintendo being a worse version of Doom on PC, and now we're going to go to an oh-so-infamous one, a uh, one that if you are in the fandom that this game is in, you know it. But it's another Game Boy Advance game. Licensed by Nintendo. Sega. Sega? Oh, you all know it. Sonic on Game Boy Advance. I I remember people saying this is like the worst, the worst uh the worst, um, uh, the worst Sonic the Hedgehog game. Uh, I played a bit of this game, but I haven't really got that far in it. But I heard this, I heard some people say this is, like, the worst, like, remake ever made. Uh, and I wanted to see how bad is this. So let's, let's check it out. Let's go to for the original mode. I like to see the original mode. How does this game capture? Alright, not starting off bad. I mean, some of the sound effects are weird. The music sounds like a bunch of basic MIDI stuff. This, th th what is this music? It sounds like a... What was that sound effect? That doesn't sound like an explosion. That doesn't sound like an explosion. That doesn't sound like I break broke anything. What? Alright, the sound design isn't really all that good. The music kind of sounds like basic MIDI. The music sounds like very basic MIDI stuff. Like, that... Alright, the main inst that main instrument is just, uh, just a default... That's just a default Windows MIDI instrument. Come on, I know that instrument. I played fan games from the late 2000s. I know that that's like... That's one of the, 
That is one of the default Windows MIDI instruments. I played, I played those window. I played late, late 2000s fan games. You know those fan games that like, like when you open them up, don't don't even have a don't even have like a full size screen. They don't even like they don't even allow you to have like the full size screen, and their actual screen size is like super small. Yeah, those games, those games made on Game Maker. Some of them are good. Some of them are not that good, but some of them are pretty good. Uh, Mario, Mario, Super Mario Pros of Windows, Super Mario Pros of Wisdom is like a good one. Yeah, this lag is not really all that good. This lag is uh, pretty bad. It's not like terrible. Sonic has passed Act 1. Why does that sound effect sound so compressed? Alright. Well, we're jumping. We're jumpity jumping. Um. Oh, I, yeah, I forgot. This is Sonic 1. In Sonic 1, you can't do a spin dash. Yeah, that feature was only introduced in uh, Sonic 2. You can see that, like, the the physics and, and like, Sonic is a very physics-based game, and the physics don't really seem all that good so far. There's also, like, a lot of screen crunch. Yeah. What was that? What was that? What was those sounds? Yeah, it's definitely janky, and it's definitely not an ideal way to play Sonic 1. Yeah, this... This is kind of, this this song sounds awful. What the hell? Why did they use that sprite? That that's that sprite is only meant to be used when he's drowning, not like when he's dying. That sprite is only meant to be used when he's drowning, not like 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 his regular dying animation. What? Ooh, yeah, this lag is bad. <laughs> Visual glitches, too. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, this is definitely not, like, very ideal. But we're only in Green Hill. Sonic 1 is alright. I think it gets some hate, but honestly... I, I used to hate it, too, but, like... I honestly think that Sonic 1 is actually pretty alright. Now that I'm looking back on it, it's actually a pretty alright game. Like, there's definitely some design flaws in the game. And I can just basically... Oh, yeah, that... That music! Oh, that music. That lag, too. Oh, that juicy lag when I hit him. Why does it lag so harshly? Oh, it feels like it's lagging whenever I just, like, do a thing that's not just jumping. <laughs> and I can just, like, I can just hop on him. <laughs> Yeah, this definitely is probably rushed. I'm definitely not going to deny that. It's most definitely probably rushed. And this was made in 2006. This is like... Like, the GBA is dead at this point. Like, why didn't you just make a... Why didn't you just make a version of Sonic 1 on the DS instead? Actually, you did. You did. Anybody remember the Sonic Classic Collection? 
not not Sonic Classic. Yeah, the Sonic Classic Collection on DS. Does anybody remember that? Yeah, you did. You did make that. So what what was the point of making this? What was the point, Sega? You made the Sonic Classic Collection in 2001. Which was infinitely better. Why did you make this? Ooh, this is everybody's favorite zone, Labyrinth Zone. Not not Labyrinth Zone, Marble Zone. Every favorite everybody's favorite zone, Marble Zone. And it's even slower than before. Dude, it just feels like it lags whenever I do something. Damn! Game, can you not handle... Can you not handle, like, simple speeds? Like... Like... You can't... Oh my gosh! Are you seriously going to lag when anything of actual substance happens? What is this? Alright, just jump up that freaking thing. And it... I heard the reason why this game is not that good is because it used a Sonic Advance engine, but and while the Sonic Advance engine is good, um it cannot handle big sprites, which this game has. Which is why it's probably lagging and the physics are as awkward as it is. What is that? Alright, he's past Act 1. Uh, yeah, this isn't exactly the most ideal way to play Sonic 1. Why are, why are the text crawls so damn slow? Like, why? Uh, I, I just, I just, I got stuck on nothing. What? what? Um. Yeah. Um. Mm. Yeah, this might not be the best way to play. Uh-oh, it's the moving platform section. This is, like, I don't hate Marble Zone anymore. I don't hate Marble Zone as much as I used to. But I definitely tell you, I still hate these fucking moving platform sections. I hate them. I still hate them to this day. Who finds enjoyment in waiting on a moving platform? That isn't even fun in Mario games. I remember, I remember, like, why didn't my why didn't my momentum get halted by those blocks? Why? This game is weird. I remember the only game that actually like did waiting moving platform stages right was like drawn to life the next chapter in like the fourth world. Like that was actually bearable because I actually had to like there was actually obstacles you had to like 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 a dodge and stuff. It was actually more than just fucking wait on a moving platform and dodge this super easy obstacle. No, the do the obstacles aren't easy to dodge. They're actually pretty challenging. It's engaging. And in this game, it's just kind of boring. I remember though, you could you could basically just. I remember I, I said this game is like the worst Sonic game, even though I never played this game. I, this was when I was young, and I just based and I just based my opinions around like fucking YouTubers who said how bad this game was. It's not that good when I'm actually playing it. It's definitely not that good. The movement is not that good. Sonic feels kind of heavy at points. It's definitely not that good. Like, don't. Let's try to go for a high score. 
What is what is that sound effect? That does not sound like I'm breaking anything at all. It sounds like I'm bumping on something, like like some like a pinball game. I don't know what the hell that sound effect is even meant to be. It surely isn't freaking breaking anything. Damn it. What, what is that death sound? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done with this. But, I'll give you guys a bonus. Since I was doing Doom on Super Nintendo, I'm giving you guys... Since I was doing Doom on Super Nintendo, I'm giving you guys... Stop with the freaking logo. Stop with the freaking logos. <sighs> Doom 2 on Game Boy Advance. Yeah. Let's go with I'm not... I'm too young to die because honestly... I don't think I'm gonna be very good at this game with mobile controls. I'm decent on, like, Xbox controls, but, like, I'm definitely not gonna be very good on mobile controls, so let's go on the easiest difficulty. Now, I know this secret. If you go here... Ooh, that... A chainsaw! Find some meat! Ooh, that crunchy music! You press, you press, damn it. The frame rate is definitely better. Yeah, this is actually better than the Super Nintendo version of Doom 1. But this is Doom 2. And, uh, Doom 2 may not be as good as Doom 1, but it's definitely still a pretty good game. It definitely introduced more mechanics and stuff. It's a lot more experimental with its level design. Alright, entryway finished. We finished the entryway, boys. Alright. Underhauls. Start to continue. I'm thinking of maybe this time. Oh, that sound alerted them. What do I do to a uh, switch? Uh, what button do I use to switch? Uh, what do I switch? Um... I'm pressing A. Does A do anything? Oh, I hold A to... I hold A and then press L to switch. Okay, weird. Weird. I like you, Chainsaw, but I also want to just... Let me shoot. Let me shoot. I see you're being stuck in the, uh... Hey, uh, damn it, I can't kill you yet. Hmm. Picked up four shotgun shells. Ooh, cool, we got the shotgun now. Good, good. Alright, now... Uh, Doom 2 is yet another pretty good game. This is also a pretty decent version of Doom 2, if I'm gonna be real. This is, this is pretty decent. This is actually pretty decent. The music isn't bad either. It's pretty crunchy, but I kinda like it. I'm thinking of going up to, a uh, world, maybe, like, map 4, if I'm lucky. 
Alright, let's pick up. Ooh, the super shotgun. I heard this. I know, I remember, I haven't played as much of Doom 2 as I had Doom 1, but I know that the super shotgun is, like, meant to be, like, the most, like, like, super powerful in OP. Picked up a clip. We kill that guy over there. We pick up the shotgun. What the hell? So I remember I'm supposed to run up there. And yep. Alright, I can run up there. Damn it. Ugh. Why does that sound? I know there's like enemies in the walls, but like... I know there's like enemies in the walls that will come out when I, once I collect the red key card, but like, still. Yep, see guys, I told you. Imps! Imps everywhere! Alright, thanks. Got some med kit. Well, let's pick up a sh All right, I want to make want to make sure we kill these. What the hell? All I don't know where these guys came from. It feels like sometimes in Doom 2, you just have random enemies that just spawn out of nowhere. Like, you don't know where they came from. You kill, like, mostly everything in the level, but, like, you don't know where these enemies came from. Now that we got the red key card. Alright, now we are able to go in here. Alright, cool. I am much better at this game when I'm on the Xbox. This game is awesome. This game's not this. This Game Boy Advance port isn't half bad. You need a blue key to open this door. Shoot that guy. Uh, I think. I think we can enter here. Ow, that killed us. Well, that, no, it didn't kill us, but it don't it, it did damage us. All right. Now let's open this up. What on you? Die. <laughs> All right. Cool. Five minutes. Hey, oh, I'm petting my cat. I'm petting my cat while I'm playing Doom. Alright. The gantlet. Oh, my cat's shitting up. I remember this stage being fairly complex back when I played it on the, uh, Ooh, look at... Listen to that music. That is crunchy. That sim... That bass is super muddy, and I love it. This isn't a half-bad rendition of the uh, Doom 2 songs. Dead. My cat is coming closer to me. She wants to be snuggled, I think. Oh, that's okay, sissy. I can give you pettings while 
while playing Doom on my Game Boy Advance emulator. Oh, where the hell did you come from? I'm probably gonna turn this down. This is the uh, chain gun, and basically it fall it fires a bunch of shots at once. Ooh, and we got a rocket rocket launcher. This ain't a half bad version of Doom at all. There's also a uh, Doom 1 Game Boy Advance version, but I don't know. I think it would be redundant playing two versions of the same game. And damn it, I, I just went to the same section. Ha! There's also some invisible enemies. Yeah, those invisible enemies. Oof, I hate those. My pinky is numb. Damn it. My pinky is doing this weird fuzzy thing. I can't. I can hump the wall, but I don't know what I'm meant to do here. Exactly. Hmm. Maybe I can go back to the teleporter? I, I pressed the switch, so maybe something might have happened. Oh yeah, something has happened. Um uh Oh, that's a pinky over there. Feel that pinky. Alright, we can kill that guy. Picked up a red key card. Alright, we can go up here. Oh cool, we get to the end of this stage. So, so far it seems, this seems pretty... This seems pretty faithful to the original game. Ooh, alright. Alright. Well, let's, let's do this level, and then it might be over. Yeah, it's probably gonna be over at this level. Ooh, turn this shit up. I love this song. Yeah. Listen to this. Um, 
maybe let's use this some chainsaw we found. Damn it, we died. But take a look at this song. This is one of my favorite Doom songs. <clears throat> Listen to that shit. That shit's fire. <laughs> yeah, this shit's awesome. Now, um, let's end the game. That's gonna be it, guys. I hope you all guys like this multi-parter Let's Check Out. I might be doing more of these multi-game Let's Check Out things. I'll see you all later.